Hello, everybody, and welcome. We're about to watch the Square Enix um, E3 presentation, um, where we'll find out what they've been up to for the past past year and what games we can look forward to in the near future. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and watch together. Good afternoon, everyone. It's Matt Mercer here, and I'm back as your Matt host Mercer. of Square Enix Presents. Today, we have a special E3 edition of the show for you, with new game announcements, updates, and exciting news from our studios across the globe. So let's kick off with the world premiere of a brand new game from Eidos Montreal. Wait, what? We hope you enjoy the show. Brand new game? I am so proud of you. Do you know what a birthright is, Peter? Oh my god! So that's a part of you. Guardians of the Galaxy? Gardeners of the Galaxy? What? No! Rocket! So, I let Groot fill out the paperwork. So we got fined. We appear to be 6,963 units short. I know, we clearly need a plan. If you see anything with claws the size of tracks, let me know. We got this. Drax, roll. No! <laughs> I'll show you, monster! No! We disrobe! Keep your pants on. Although, it could be used as a distraction. Smash him up, Drax! Make your maker! We're all professionals here, right? Maybe we can work something out. Get him! So it's like a brawler? You one job, Quill. I did exactly what! The more no killing teammates. That's who. It's literally in your contract. I made no such commitment. In less than three cycles, all would be lost. The galaxy cannot be saved, Peter Quill. We can do this together. Barking uh, break, Quill. You got me right straight into the fire. Some more, eh? This music's great. This this wasn't even the one that was in the trailer. They replaced it to make it DMCA safe. No, no, of course I will. I'll call you. I'll call you. He did not. October 26th. Hi, my name is Olivier Prou, senior producer here at IDOS Montreal. For the past few years, we've had the privilege to work on our version of Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy and reimagine it into a single-player, story-driven, third-person action-adventure game. It's our own fresh take on the Guardians, and something that's really unique to our game is that you get to be Peter Quill. As Star-Lord, you're constantly in the middle of the action as you try to lead this band of misfits. But today, I'm really, really excited to have all of you join us on this journey, and you'll hear more about the game from our team behind this project. All right, let's do this. That is a I've nice looking man, Marvel's damn. I've cosmic characters. Uh, growing up as a kid, I read them, enjoyed them, loved them. I uh, had the opportunity to write for Marvel on some of their cosmic titles. I went back with the help of Bill Roseman, the editor, and kind of cherry-picked characters from Marvel's past. The opportunity here was to build a team, but to make it all underdogs, so that the reader would think, oh my gosh, how is this team gonna survive? And that became the Guardians of the Galaxy comic, which we loved working on. I remember the first time that the Marvel crew came to Montreal, we were showing them the design of the characters, how they would look, and they stayed silent. I don't know if it's a minute, but in my head, it was a minute. I was like, 
oh my God, like they hate it. We realized how much that Marvel and Adios Montreal share and have in common and that we knew the Guardians were in perfect hands. Looking at the samples that Ados were kind enough to show me, I think he's fantastic and absolutely in the spirit of what these characters are. What makes the gameplay experience unique to me is no matter in what phase of the game you are, whether you're in exploration or you're fighting, the Guardians are constantly around you and you never feel alone. While you're the leader, the Guardians will also challenge you and make decisions on their own, and you will have to adapt to it. You are literally part of the Guardians of the Galaxy. The decisions you'll make will have lighthearted to hunting repercussions, and the game will react to what you do and say. Come on, no killing teammates! That's who! It's literally <laughs> in your contract! I made <laughs> no such commitment. <laughs> you are playing as Star Lord, and you're using your blasters, and you're using your jet boots. Star Lord is really empowering. He's very agile on the battlefield. He can slide and over with his jet boots. Of course, he has his elemental blasters. That Wait, was that a combo meter? Well. And on top of all of this, he can use the unique abilities of his guardians. We're not pirates. We're legally incorporated heroes for hire. Gardeners of the galaxy? What? No. The story is about a group of misfits, the Guardians. In our world, they've been together for less than a year. They create something on a small scale that looks insignificant. And as they progress through the story, they discover that they created something really big that threatens the galaxy. There are a lot of very interesting villains in the Marvel franchise. And when you're starting to work on a story like this, you get to get your pick of which ones will make the best for this story. That gives us the opportunity to bring in some that are well-known, but some that are also not all that well-known. What Ados is that? so right about them is capturing what it's like to be a misfit family. They're also bringing an amazing imagination to it. You're gonna see planets and characters that are gonna blow your mind. Interpreting it in its own way, I think makes it feel incredibly fresh and exciting. It's not a matter of trying to replicate the comic or trying to replicate the film. It's trying to take the medium you're working in and make the best version of Guardians out of that. They made it fun, they made it rock and roll. They delivered everything you would want in a Guardians game. Well, I was not expecting that. that. That could be very good. Wait, are they actually gonna play? PlayStation prompts used for demo purposes only. Oh wait, that means it's gonna have licensed music when you play it on, oh no. 37 units? We appear to be 6,963 units short. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill. I know, I know. We clearly need a plan. What about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, no. Oh, come Hopefully on. they have You've a streamer mode. Stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. Quarantine zone was always a out on us, My figurines are not knickknacks. Huh. Team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. For the I will star sacrifice system. your head. And take us to the majestic oh, mountains yeah, of Kakaran sure. Guys. I think we should hear our group for once. I am Groot. You know, the only problem with your plan <laughs> is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster. Groot, are you really offering to- No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. So, Groot, I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small, ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He's cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Oh, no. So you have to choose and make choices. Well, Rocket's definitely scarier on the inside. He's unstable and vicious and totally oblivious to the needs of others. <clears throat> okay, we, uh, we get it. All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. We're not seriously flying into that. You say the weather patterns of Seknarf-9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. 
That's not how women work. Or weather. We're flying the wrong way. Nah, he's not flying at all. Guys, relax. Just one minor adjustment. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle. It is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask <laughs> Peter! <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. <laughs> there is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good. We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. Right? The fact you ain't sure don't bode so good. Whoa! That is some really crazy lightning out there. Never seen anything like it. Meteorological suicide is what it is. Out. Hey, is my jacket all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord. We ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. I face more than enough hardship. Thank you very much. You are welcome, Feeble One. We got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. We should have gone to Maku 4. I would be wary, Rodent. Uh, you know, when I survive freaking half world, I think I'm scared of some little. Black! It's not alone! Get ready! Are they fighting jelly cubes? Shoot first! Questions later! Drop them, Kamora! This won't hurt! Much! Smash them off, Drax! Meet your maker! They so control them the in combat. This is the local fauna! It's about to be an endangered species! Truth! Hawkeye time! Ooh. Oh, you rocket! Time to go boom! A lot of yelling. <laughs> I am eager to experience so you gain XP, it's so it's like a... Should we ask them for directions? RPG light. I'm thinking maybe they are directions. Like a signpost or something. I'm not saying it's an arrow with the word fortress on it, but statues suggest civilization, and the only settlement I saw when we were topside was Lady Hellbender's fortress. Dead end. That's just great. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. Wait, what do you not have time to dawdle in this jungle? I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face! Put me down! <laughs> It'll be fine. Just curl up in a ball. What? Drax, throw him. No! Very well. Peter? <laughs> it's okay. He'll land on his feet. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> I guess that only applies to cats. <laughs> you sons of sharks! Scut busted ass! <laughs> I am not familiar with these words. Order the beast to do its job. <laughs> okay, come on, man. Ram it, I'd be mad Fix too if someone threw me. We'll raise your cut by 5%. I want 10. Okay, deal. Thanks for the bridge, Rocket. If you even think of pulling that Wait, scud again. Hear that? Uh guys. Rocket will remember that. I got it. Point 
nothing on this planet not trying to kill us! Nope. Guys, huddle up! Already License music's been replaced. Oh, no. They probably made a soundtrack that's, that's safe. Does he have multiple health bars? Wait, was loot dropping? Peter? I wonder if there's gear and stuff. Oh, right. The cage. The point of even getting the Flarkin thing was looking like we mean business. All right, Rocket. Time to put on your monster face. I only got one face, Quill. Are you sure about this, Peter? <laughs> Look at him. You better have one hell of a sales pitch. Maybe Gamora's right. We should try selling Groot instead. <laughs> what? Really? This is an affront to democracy. I just think that... We might need Rocket on the outside for this one. <sighs> yeah, we noticed. You want to make that call, then you better not mess this up. You hang tight there, bud. When the time comes, I'll get you out of there. Rocket style, if I gotta. Drat. Gamora, can you help me with this? No. What? Why? To guarantee your safety as a leader. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, don't look at me. I ain't pulling that thing. Poor Groot's always the butt of every joke. Remember, buddy? Menacing! Like me, only uh, bigger. I am Groot. Not bad. Not bad. Easy, big guy. So, how long before someone else wants to pull this thing? We are 60 clicks from the fortress. I'd say close to like 75. flying catfish. We got this! Rocky, what are you doing? I am very curious about this. I didn't realize this would come out so soon, too. Who's the monster now? Guardians of the Galaxy. How many times do I have to kill you? The audacity that you thought you could rob me, Dweller! What Feast villain is that? Them! Order and get throwback guardians outfit packs. Now we're going to revisit two iconic brands that are being remastered for modern platforms. First up, relive the classic games in the Final Fantasy series, and then get one more peek at Legend of Mana ahead of its June 24th launch. Oh my god. The memories. Ah, oh, the music. Pixel remaster. Pixel remaster?
Ooh, Legend of Mana. June 24th. That's like in two weeks. Up next, Earth's mightiest heroes continue their fight to defend the world in Marvel's Avengers. The team at Crystal Dynamics is excited to share the latest updates with you, including new mission types and a growing roster of heroes. June Avengers, Cosmic Q. Sure, that super weapon at all costs. Cosmic energy is building up. Every second counts, people. Keep it moving. It's beautiful, isn't it? You're out of your depth, Avengers. Shutting you down, Monica. The world doesn't need a Oh, the music's been Aim uh silent. Save it. There is no end. These comes. Let's you see if it looks any better on the Twitch stream. Capable of. Nope, way worse. New patrol mode? Alright, when is this coming out? This hopefully adds a bunch more um, content. It's what the game needed. I applaud your efforts to connect with your roots, but as a man who has seen three Black Panthers fall, I must warn you of a few things. Many eyes follow the path you are about to walk down. Oh, this looks nice. Be honest. You just wanted to show off this suit. These environments look so much better than it the base cool. game. Brother, no! Spider robots. Ew. Vibranium doesn't belong to you. All right. Vibranium does not belong to me. It belongs to Wakanda. Now it's time to give mobile players a quick look at some of the games that will be available in the coming months. Good evening, 426. Our intelligence Hitman? reports a new threat to global stability. Maybe Hitman Their sniper. Their reach is unlike anything we have seen before. Following Agent 47's disappearance, you were selected because of your remarkable skills. Execution must be perfect. We will strike from the shadows and they will never know what hit them oh my god so much licensed music Nier's music's licensed too wow Oh, this is, yeah, the, uh, wait, it don't, do they not own their own music? That's, 
Weird. I thought I would. I would assume they would own their own music, but apparently not. Oh, sound! Yay! This is Final Fantasy fourteen. No, Final Fantasy seven. The first soldier. Oh, for iOS, it's uh. Today, the team at Platinum Games is giving you an exclusive look at the epic world of Babylon's Fall, featuring fluid combat. Powerful weapons and a unique art style. Built over a thousand years, music. It was meant to be a tower of dreams, but for a thousand more, it was seen as a tower of ruin. Persevering through fire and ice and the coldest of winds, eventually the tower became a symbol of unrelenting ambition. That tower's name is Babylon. Does the savior of Neo Babylon stand among us? Let's find out without further ado. If I'm to die, then I'll die for hope, for what little hope there may be. Through the veil at last, have you? We're all prisoners of our subjective reality. Believe only what you see, and you're like to end up seeing only what you believe. Two paths lie ahead. Ascend to the heavens above the tower or fall like this one now before you. Now begins its tale of both hope and despair. Babylon's Fall. Platinum Games is really an action part of the world's action developer. I think it's a great idea to make it a great idea. If you want to make it a great idea, how do you want to make it a great idea? This is the concept of Hack and Slash. So, this game's concept is that Platinum Games is a great idea to make it 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 a great idea. Of course, there are four people who are playing with four people. あの男女を攻略していくゲームになりますコンセプトについてはまあプレイヤーがえーとまあ途切れない目標に向かってえーとアクションえーまあ追い求め続けることができるとプレイヤーはまあストーリーを追いながら男女をクリアして上層を目指していくスクリニックスマッシュメイクアロットマネーアモーバルですねプレイヤーは特大は特大を強化してカスタマイズしていくとゲームのスタイルとしてはまあオーソドックスなあのハックアンドスラッシュという形ですねただアクションがスキルや強い力を引き出すためのトリガーになっているところがまあポイントかなと思っています。
プレイヤーの背中についているビデオコピーというのがかなり気合いテムとなっています、まあ、それによって、えー、と遊び方とかカスタマイズの方向性っていうのも変わってきますハイファンタジー感というかその上品さというところはすごい意識してくれっていうふうに言われましたねカープンチックにならないようにというか、まあ、リアルに本当に存在している人たちがいるかのような感じは意識しましたこのゲームは運営型のゲームとして開発しています発売後も定期的に新しいコンテンツを提供する予定ですようやく皆さんに改めてこういった形で発表できたのと本当に私たちも嬉しくなってますしまさにこれから開発の佳境になっていくのであの精一杯頑張っていきたいので皆さんも引き続き応援よろしくお願いいたしますI think about us as little pirates <laughs> running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. We are awesome! Come on! Let's dance! Or take my picture with your new camera. Oh no, the game's gonna have a bunch of licensed music. That's Rachel Amber. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. <laughs> oh, good. You're here. Rachel saved my life. She was my angel. Something happened to her. We have to find her, Max. Holy shit. Max, what's going on? No! Whoa. I discovered I could reverse time. What the hell is this? It just shows you how like Max! much they rely on music for trailers. <laughs> Whatever's going on between us is special. Step back before you regret it. Get in, Max! Then I realized I had a choice and the power to change everything. Arcadia Bay is on the edge of disaster. Time to change time. Whatever happens, I'll always have your back. Always. September 30th. I'll definitely be playing uh, Life is Hi, Strange 3. I'm Maya, also known as MXM Tune. I'm a musician and the singing voice of Alex Chen in the upcoming Life is Strange True Colors. I hope you enjoyed that first look at official gameplay from the remastered collection. As a longtime fan, I know I did. You can see the love and care that Deck Nine have put into remastering both Life is Strange and Before the Storm. This collection features improved character animation, lip sync, and visuals, breathing new life into these two beloved games. Back in March, we also revealed the next major game in the series, Life is Strange True Colors, a small town supernatural mystery. Alex Chen must uncover the truth behind her brother's death, using her psychic power of empathy to unravel the shocking secrets of Haven Springs. Today, we have a first Is look empathy at Alex's a psychic power? power in action. Here's game director Zach Garris for more. Alex's psychic power of empathy is integral to the story of Life is Strange True Colors. It impacts every relationship she builds, and every decision she makes. Never thought I'd have a freaky empath friend. For years, Alex has been unable to shut out the strong feelings of others. The fear, sadness, and anger of those around her, leading her to believe her power is a curse. In the wake of Gabe's death, Alex realizes the only way she can find the truth is to embrace her power. I can't believe this is happening. And the only way to understand is to feel what he's feeling. From the very start, you can use Alex's power to focus on brightly colored auras to gain an insight into people's emotions. Gabe was too young. Just too young. 
These valuable insights deepen Alex's relationships with the folk of Haven Springs, as well as sparking new dialogue options and events, as here from a scene very early on in the game. You're gonna lose her. You're gonna lose her and it's all your fault. Alex has uncovered a secret that Mac wants to keep hidden from his long-term girlfriend, and now he is terrified that Alex will reveal it before he can talk to Riley. She is the best thing that's ever happened to me. So please, help me out. Max telling you a whole lot of I bullshit. Listen. Thanks for telling me the truth, Alex. So are we still together? Are you serious? I need to get back to work. Sure, Alex, we'll, uh, we'll get out of your way. When Alex encounters a particularly strong aura, she can reach out to actively connect with that person's emotions. This generates a Nova, a supernatural flare that transforms the world around Alex into a reflection of that person's psyche. In this altered, emotionally charged state, Alex can experience fragments of thoughts and memories to get to the root of their issue. But not every emotional crisis can be easily dealt with. Some carry a dangerous, even life-threatening amount of power. He's dead! I wish I were too. No decision is easy, and the consequences will be felt across the game. This anger could kill her. What if I could just take it away? Using Alex's power is the only way you can uncover the truth behind her brother's death. What would that do to her? What would it do to me? And even if I can, should I? How far will you go in pursuit of that truth? The choice is yours. Alex's powers look so awesome. I have no idea how I'll make some of these choices, but I can't wait to play it with you all when it comes out on September 10th. Don't forget, you can pre-order Life is Strange True Colors now. And if you choose the Ultimate Edition, you'll also receive the Life is Strange Remastered Collection. And that's it for today. Make sure to follow the Life is Strange social channels for more. Is And now, we are excited to unveil a brand new title from Square Enix Japan. Ooh. New IP? Hearts. Kingdom Hearts? I'm here to kill Chaos. That's my mission. Team Ninja. <laughs> Looks like chaos has been waiting for us. You gonna make us go in there and find you? This is Final I Fantasy. Guess we'll just show ourselves in. I only know one thing. I want to kill chaos. Action Final Fantasy. Need to. It's not a hope or a dream. It's like a hunger, a thirst. Move aside. You're dust. So violent. You sure chaos is here? Yeah, they can only squash monsters for so long. I hate doing pest control. This is the shrine of chaos. He's here. We just have to hunt him down. Feel the pain! The darkness is so thick I can taste it. This is it. No doubt. Die already! There was a knight who left on the same journey as you, but never returned. He's so was angry. If you could, I would be grateful if you looked for him. Chaos. I'll crush you! No when you're beaten! And who are you? We're here to kill Chaos. The Prophecy's very own Warriors of Light. 
real. He always wore such splendid armor, with a helmet that was terrifying to behold. It's Scarlet! No. I become chaos. <clears throat> Stranger of Paradise. Final Fantasy Origin. I'll leave you with a look Ooh. at some of the amazing Square Enix titles you can play now, as well as those to come. I hate to be the bearer. Oh yeah, this news, just came out. Just hit me with it. I'm gonna drop plate number seven. They're gonna do what? Oh, licensed music's been removed. It's so... All four spoken. I forgot about that one. It's all or nothing. Chaos! Sorry. No, no, of course I will. I'll call you, I'll call you. Thank you for joining us today. Keep an eye out for news about our next Square Enix Presents. I'm Matt Mercer. See you next time. Okay, well, looks like it's over, I think. Uh, wow, without music, that was very, it's weird without music, like, just, so many trailers just don't work without music, but that was all right, yeah, the Marvel Guardian of the Galaxy was a surprise game that's coming out in October, uh, that's quick, another, uh, Guardian of the Galaxy movie should be coming out in the near future, too, so they might, like, try to line those up, um, Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster. They didn't really explain what that was. I don't know what exactly that means. Um, and then they showed a couple Marvel Avengers things. So there was uh, Cosmic Cube, and then what, which is a in-game event for Marvel's Avengers. Then the Wakanda expansion, which will add um, looks like Black Panther, and then. Like a lot new of new enemy types and new environments, which is the game really desperately needs. It needs more content, uh, more enemy types, more variety. Um, and then uh, they had a slew of mobile games. They had a Hitman mobile game, a Final Fantasy mobile game. They had Near mobile game. Like there's tons of mobile stuff coming out. And then they uh, showed Life is Strange collections coming out. Which comes out after um, 3, which is strange. They're releasing 3 and then a remaster of the first two instead of the other way around. And then um, then uh, Strangers, uh, Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy or Origin, which is like a like a action action sort of... It reminded me, kind of, it reminded me of Devil May Cry mixed with, with uh, Far Cry. Sorry, not Far Cry. Fall, uh, Final Fantasy, my brain. Uh, so, uh, Final Fantasy makes with like Devil May Cry were chaos. He was he sounded so angry and just he hated chaos with a passion. He was just all about screaming at chaos the whole time. Yes, yeah, so that was uh, no like major surprises. Except for the the Guardians of the Galaxy game, uh, Final Fantasy Origin was kind of leaked ahead of time. They kind of hinted at that a little bit ago, but nothing really super surprising. Everything we already really knew about. Still no release date on uh, Wakanda, though, which I was hoping to get a release date on. 
overall, it was a pretty okay one. You know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. They at least showed gameplay of, of Guardians instead of, you know, ask pulling on the developers for an interview and ask them, so how is it like working with Square Enix? You know, like having them answer that every time. Um, so at least they showed the gameplay and stuff. But it looks okay. Oh, was it August for uh, that one? Uh, yeah, that was... It was okay. You know, I'll give it probably like a three out of five. Yeah. Some surprises, nothing major, a lot of safe stuff. Now, it's not their fault, but the DMCA thing was like almost comedy level of... Like, without music, it just... It feels so weird, all these trailers without music. It was just... It was just like sounds and talking and then like, you know, there's supposed to be music there to match the transitions and it just doesn't work. Man, I just... It makes the tra it all makes everything seem so much less cool when there's no music. I, uh, they have got to come up with something because this is getting weird with all these muted stuff. It just ruins the vibe. So I hope I really hope that Twitch and the music industry figure out something so that we can like I don't I don't know if it's gonna be like a paid license that we all buy if we want to do the stream or something so we can just have music on streams again like in games and stuff I don't know like what it would be but some some sort of, like the music industry wants more money because they need more yachts and mansions and stuff for people um, so they want their money we gotta figure out a way to give it to them so we can have music on the stream again I don't know how that's gonna work but we'll see uh all right, well, next we have a PC gaming show, which is in about 25 minutes. I will be going on uh, dropped frames for that. Um, so I'll be getting off of here. The stream will go offline. It'll come back online in a little bit. With, um, Welcome back, everybody, to the Twitch gaming gathering. My name is Bruce Green. And the stream will go offline in just a couple minutes, and then when it comes back online, 